I want to talk to you about the 1968 Washington quarter. And you see we have a D here for the Denver mint on the coin. And in Denver, in 1968, they made 102 million of these. At an MS-65, it's worth about 7 to $10. Up here, we see there's no mint mark. And so that means this is a Philadelphia coin and the little chip in it. And I think this is a mint dent just because of the way it went. But it doesn't go down all the way to the core. Because the core of these, of course, is a copper core. At the Philadelphia Mint in 1968, they made $221 million. And this coin here is probably worth 5 to $7. They found 10 Mint State 68s. And they're worth about $2,850. I just realized we haven't actually even turned these coins over yet in this video. So what is on the back? Well, it's an eagle on the back holding some arrows. And the arrows are pointing this way. You can see the arrowhead there. You can see the feather end there. And if these are in really, really good condition, you can see a line through the middle of the feathers. The United States of America around the top. E pluribus unum right over the eagle's head. When we look down here, we see it says quarter dollar. These are copper nickel clad copper coins. Denver Mint, they found 14 MS-68s. And they're worth about $3,400. Finally, at the San Francisco Mint, where this S is from, this is the first year ever of a San Francisco Mint proof quarter. The proof quarters before 1965 had always come from the Philadelphia Mint. This is a proof coin, so it's not going to be an MS at all. It's going to be a PR or Proof 69. They found 43 of them, and it, the Proof 69 goes for about $1,200.